Hi everyone. This is only a short uh, video. We're just uh, going to talk about Earlston Junction. Now I know uh, some of you will be very aware of uh, <laughs> of that junction and the problems at uh, lock number four. Now many many years ago, um, I think it was ninety eight. We got stuck, we had a, a boat built and we got stuck in Earlston Junction in 1998. Uh, and since then we've seen so many other boats getting stuck. So many times there's going to be uh, repairs made. And then they find out Earlston Lock 4 is listed and there's restrictions. But at some point something has to be done. And we were, we were always aware of it, you know. And um, anyway, we had an alert through because we always keep uh, our uh, CRT alerts on our phone. And it said, uh, access at Earlston Junction will now be uh, monitored and carried out by uh, CRT staff. So we thought we'll go and have a look. We'll go and have a look and see what's what. Anyway, we did. And we did a little video and uh, what you see next will be what we saw and you can make your own conclusions but we've certainly made ours <laughs> okay we'll get on with it we just thought we'd come for a little walk out and have a look at the uh locks at earlston junction which uh Number, is it number one? Four. Four, of course it is, other end. Uh, there's been major problems there. Uh, we were thinking of coming up the Clangothlin again, mm -hmm. weren't we? But uh, We I love the canal, but we don't want to get stuck on it, do we? No, uh, and we're going to go and have a look now and uh, see what things are like. There's all sorts of rumours flying about, isn't there? Yeah. You know, and uh, if, it, uh, if you get uh, trapped up here, then uh, there's nowhere else for you to go. Woo! <laughs> it's very nice, but uh, not for all year. That's definitely not. But let's go and have a look and yeah, see what we find. Yeah, sort it shortly, won't they? Yeah, we'll go and have a look anyway. Imagine what this has been like over the Easter period. Queues upon queues. It's quieting down a bit now, so. But there's still the summer season to come, if it, uh, if it's still open. The grass is nice, though. <laughs> it's been cut. Yeah. Now we've been down to uh, quite a windy Earlston Junction. Just have a look at the damage, it does look considerable. And last year we had less than an inch spur, and this year it's worse. And uh, we do know that uh, the coal boat, which normally gets up here, 
can't fit now so I'm pretty certain we'd have an issue so sadly we're going to bypass the Klangoslan and uh, we'll just carry on down to uh, some other nice places so this lock is narrow uh, even more yes yes we'll see what happens This seems to be a bit of a bow in the side. <laughs> it is certainly uh, an interesting start to well, our little adventure. If you know, if we're not careful, this could end up being closed very soon. And then there's a that is a major issue on the most popular canal in the country. And lock four, as you uh, come in, you can't to come off the Shropshire Union or any you know come from anywhere to go up. And if you're on the Clangoslin, you can't you can't get off. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see if it gets through the season. But uh, it must, it must be done um, on the next closures because this has been going on far, far too long. And uh, there's a lot of people talking about it on the network uh, and all the rumour mills are going. So uh, I think uh, it's got to be done now as a priority. Yes. Serious times at Earlston Junction at the start of the Langoslin Canal. <laughs>